All right, all right, I'm leaving. My God. All right, stop, look at these fools. Because there's a nest over here. They're real aggressive if you're by their nest. They act like fools. One time in the marsh, I had one chase me like for three hours. We had some pelicans over there working. These guys were over here working a little bit. Tells me there's some bait in the water. It's pretty windy today. I think we had like one gust in the 20s. Um, doesn't feel that bad right now, but we had some wind gusts in the 20s. So out here with Carl. Carl just got a gap top. So these birds diving, kind of trying to figure out what they're eating on. They're eating on like a bait fish or maybe a mullet, but. Trying to figure out if there's any other, you know, predators eating on them. But we are back in the kayak today, overcast, uh, near new moon. So, out here with Patreon Carl, viewer, subscriber, Patreon friend. Told me he was going out today. So, decided I'd come out and give it a whirl. Yeah, chasing birds in a kayak is never never ideal because they move so fast. They were going crazy over here. Now most of them are concentrated behind us where we first started. So it's uh, and the, with the water clarity, it's being so sandy. It makes me believe that they're going to be like gap top and hard heads cooling. Um, I mean, they're reds out here no matter what. So if we get in here and get out of the wind a little bit, keep fishing. I want to capitalize on this morning bite. <clears throat> kind of seem like fighting against this wind and trying to fish out here is a little bit of a waste of time. Oh, the fish might be here. Sometimes you have to pick and choose your battles. A lot more area to cover in there. And burn the day out here. Or burn the morning out here. A little bit of slick right here. Might be what I'm smelling. Man, one's no joke. Surprised to pull anything out of there. You know, I mean, there was a lot of pelicans, and now they're all kind of, they're really scat scattered. And uh, I could just feel when I was casting and cast, I could feel a little bump, 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 bump. It feels kind of like pinfish. And I did see some, like I'm feeling it again, right here again. There, there must be, this must be loaded with pinfish. And I had a few, few wax and um, a couple nice little wax, and it could be like hardheads because. I was fishing with some live shrimp and he pulled a gaff top out and a hard head so could be some hard heads mixed in there uh, some gaff top this feels kind of heavy like a flounder maybe someone just popped it let's see there we go yeah yeah hit the flatty it's a flatty it's a flatty just he just caught it right there right when I was talking uh, Woo! got me all wet buddy Oh yeah, it's a good one too. Man, I almost, I almost flipped it in because I thought it was smaller. Because the wind is carrying me this way, so. Um, yeah, my screen's not wet. I thought it was wet. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, got it on that, on that, uh, on the darker, on the darker, um, was it swim mullet? Yeah, I got it on this, this, this darker marble style, black style swim mullet. But there he is in the net, bro. So they're nesting right here in this grass, so they're mad at me. They want me to leave their grass alone because I'm too close to their nest. He just pooped right here. He's gonna try to poop on me. So hey, y'all, give me a second. I'm gonna take care of this fish. Hey, stop, fool! I'm not gonna be here that long. They're mad. They're mad. They want me to get away from the grass because they're nesting. They're live birds. They're not too nice. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill. Dang, he looked like he was coming in, didn't he? get this guy taken care of golly crazy they're crazy that one was mad I thought he was in at me Look at had his little his little feet kicked up he was gonna grab me oh he hammered this one 
There we go. We got it. All right. Leave me alone. All right. All right. Relax. Dang, they're mad at Ruben. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got right here. He's gonna be, yes, yeah, 16 and a half inches. Yes, yeah, 16 and a half inch. Beautiful, beautiful flatty. Man, I love flounder. Love flounder, love flounder. Nice little flatty. Right on the go. And uh, fishing with a tandem. This is a quantum shadow. And this is a very special reel right here, a rod. H and H made them. Um, it's, I don't know if I have time. I don't know if I can explain this rod yet, but this is what I caught them on right here. Small little white jig head, and then this little bullet. Uh, yeah, there's that. You want a flounder? Yeah, Carl's like, yeah, I'll take it, buddy. I'll take your flatty. All right, all right, I'm leaving. My God. All right, stop, look at these fools. Cause, Cause there's a nest over here. They're real aggressive if you're by their nest. guy golly though went all the way around all those drains and didn't catch one did you get any flounder over there most time it's really good for flounder but couldn't catch one I barely had that guy hooked hey, hey, hey. he's gonna be small though he's a baby baby uh oh that might be a flounder uh-oh 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 there we go baby there we go, baby. Oh, 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 it's a baby. I'm getting all excited for a baby. Come here. It's like catching butterflies. This might be a fish that's hanging on. It might be a little flounder. He's just hanging on. I pulled him all the way up the ledge, not knowing what he was. He sure was. He was just hanging on the whole time. Dang it, little flatty. Come back here. Well, that's gonna do it guys you know what I just got home and just realized you know what I didn't do my outro so that is it I'm back at the house just finished rinsing off the kayak gonna rinse, rinse off the rest of my gear hey if you would like a fish report on uh, some of these kayak uh, videos I do and some of the kayak fishing I do 
and then uh, join Patreon. I do drop uh, fishing reports on there. And then when I do go out fishing with other people with boats, I still drop fishing reports, get water conditions, and so on and so forth. And that's what I'm getting ready to do after I go inside. I'm going to record a fishing report for my Patreons and kind of let them know uh, in case they are thinking about fishing the same area that I'm fishing or even the same spot that I'm fishing. Or just if they just want to know what's going on out there in the water just in general. I just kind of drop that information for them. And there's a link below in the description section of this video. But you know what? It was a tough, tough day. It was supposed to, the wind was supposed to die down as the day went on, and it did not do that. I think it was still probably gusting around 20 miles an hour when we got off of the water. And those gusts really <laughs> lasted a long time. It would kind of slow, it would kind of calm back down and be blowing around 16, and then it'll start gusting again for a long time. And let me tell you, my left knee isn't what it used to be by far and uh my knee is killing me uh you know i had an outgoing tide had a headwind and outgoing tide and uh just fought it and fought it you know, all the way back to the launch uh carl uh patreon subscriber friend carl you know he has the right idea with his uh with his uh what is it uh o-town pilot i think it is anyway it's like 13 136 or 13.6 or it's something like that it's a 13 footer but uh he had the right idea with that bad boy you know i went out and looked for the reds uh after catching a few flounder and uh they were there they were just gun shy they were spooked a lot um Gemma went back there right before us in a solo skiff and i think he just kind of banged them out a little bit and the bite changes you know you can get get on them and get real be on top of them be on the fish uh, early on and then as the morning dies down it goes in the afternoon the bike can stop and and I think that's kind of where we were I was hoping that it wasn't off that it wasn't continue to go because the tide just switched around and uh, we had an outgoing tide by the time we got back there so I was hoping that they would still be there but they weren't I get, did get whacked a few times pretty hard and uh but no takers uh it happens but I had a great time. I had a good time on the water. I love getting a kayak. Although I'm going to have to rethink this whole kayak thing. And uh, rethink not having a motor on it. You know, I like being organic. I like uh, being uh, primitive. I like using my own body to, as a motor. But I think my motor is failing. Unfortunately, I think my knees, uh, that's going to be all she wrote. As far as these longer trek goes. I'll have to try to figure it out and uh, and go from there. But hey guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. Until next time, hope you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.